Well, hi, and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host, Ken Keith, and I uh, want to welcome everybody in the local user group and those of you who may be joining us from out there in video land. You know, as you do more and more portraits, uh, you notice a lot of things, and once we get into uh, using Photoshop Elements, we have tools that will help us make our subjects look better. And uh, one of the aspects of human features is that they're not necessarily perfectly uh, with bilateral symmetry. So uh, you know, notice that with noses and ears and other things, and especially eyes. And as we take uh, portraits, and especially as we do these things for money, we want to make our subjects look best. And if you've taken a portrait and you can't go back and do it, and they've squinted, uh, maybe kind of winked with one eye, or they just simply have something like a lazy eye, or one that uh, is noticeably different in terms of how wide it's open, we have uh, some tools to fix that here in Photoshop, as well as a couple of other fixes that we'll talk about today. So let's get right to it. All right. Now today we're going to work on our friend Stephanie. And you'll notice that her left eye is considerably more closed than her right eye. And uh, she may have squinted. Don't really remember her having a lazy eye, but this, this could be too. But in any case, uh, let's uh, go and fix this for her and, and give her some symmetry there. And uh, it's good to zoom in so that you can see more precisely what you're doing and hopefully you've taken your picture uh, in with a high-res setting on your camera. You certainly need to do that if uh, at all possible because as you zoom in uh, to where you need to be for these fixes that we're going to talk about. Uh, it's, it's really great to uh, be able to see it in this way. If it's a low res image and you start coming in very close, uh, you're going to get some really pixelated images. It's going to be much tougher to work on. So, uh, since this is the better of the two eyes, we're going to use it and we're just going to put it over here. And or in order to do that, I'm going to take the lasso tool and draw out a selection around the eye and uh, with uh, the, this, the surrounding area you want to go ahead and take some of that with you. Let's go ahead and go up to the select menu and feather that selection. Uh, maybe four pixels and click OK. And the next thing we need to do is put that eye on its own layer. And so you can go up to layer new and layer by copy or use your keyboard shortcut control J. Oops, excuse me. Alright, and it's over there. And uh, we're going to have to flip this so that uh, the orientation matches. And to do it, we'll go back up to image rotate and not flip horizontal because that would flip your entire picture, but you're going to flip that layer horizontally. Click on that. Press the letter V, which brings up your Move tool, and bring it over to this side. Now we could place that uh, by, we <laughs> by eyeballing it. Ha, that's kind of a joke. Anyway, we can do that, uh, but what's going to be best is if we lower the opacity of our eye layer a bit so that we can see what's going on underneath and that'll help us line it up. Now I'm taking the uh, uh, initially using the catch lights to line that up and that's about right. But you notice that the tip end of the eye, the, the end toward the nose, is still not lined up even though the eyeball is essentially lined up. So I'm going to bring up Free Transform, press Control and T. And 
brings up your bounding box and then uh, I'll just use well, the outside handles to get that alignment correct and I'm going to have to realign the catch lights and I can do that with my arrow keys to do what uh, we call a nudge and now we're pretty good there um, as needed you can pull some of these other handles to to uh, make your alignment perfect I think this is good and click OK and then bring back the opacity of your eye layer to 100 percent good and if you have some parts that don't belong that have come from over here you can use clone stamp to cover it up or I'm just going to simply use my eraser tool with a soft edge kind of go around to there that was hiding uh, some of her hair and some of these little veins that are over here but are not over on this side and I'm just going to take my eraser tool and erase that away and now I have a clean edge there now if we want to see where we started from just going to uh, take the uh, little uh, eye icon turn it off that's the original that's where it looks like now and I think that's a lot better so the next fix what we're going to do is to go ahead now and merge these two layers because we're done with the, the eye movement and you'll often notice that uh, people have some redness in their eyes uh, maybe they've had a, a little bit of uh, allergy or, or some uh, irritation from their contacts this lady's wearing contacts you can see them right here or uh, Sometimes even in uh, older folks, uh, you'll see some yellowing or some spots in the eyes that you might want to take away. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and grab our lasso tool again. And being careful not to get into the, the uh, colored part of the eye, we're going to draw little selections on each side. I'm going to do this real fast so you'll take plenty of time and we want to get all four sections done at once. I'm going to hold down my shift key and there's that little plus that shows up that shows that we're going to add to these selections. So you're going to continue to hold that down as you go through and make your selections in all four areas. And I did a really crummy job there but you get the idea. And then select and go ahead and put a feather on those, maybe a couple of pixels, and click OK. And go up to Enhance, Color, and Hue and Saturation. And if it's a, a problem with the redness of the eye, instead of Master, we're going to go down here to the red channel. And pull the saturation back. If we had any yellows, we'd go ahead and pull that saturation back also. And go back to your master channel and pull your lightness slider to the right to lighten that up. And I have to caution you now, don't go crazy uh, with that. We want to make some positive changes, but we don't want them to have really unnatural glowing eyes. And once that looks good, click OK. Control and D to take away your selection areas. And she has some much prettier eyes. Than the, than the way we started there. So um, uh, th there's a lot of positive things you can do, and uh, I hope this has been a, uh, uh, beneficial for you and that you've enjoyed it. And we'll invite you to come back again next time to see our complete series of video tutorials over on the Vimeo website. Have a great week. Take care. We'll talk again.